But then it all changed because we moved out of the industrial economy, moved into the connection economy. <coughs> and in the connection economy, when we make stuff, we're basically making copies of it over and over and over and over and over and over again. And so when you understand now how we consume things today, the vast majority of the manifested, sorry, the manifestations of the things that we consume, the vast majority of them are in some sort of digital format. And uh, in the book, uh, Free by Chris Anderson, who was um, uh, a managing editor of Wired magazine at one point in time, he said, the price of digital products will inevitably drop to zero because they can be produced and distributed at no additional cost. So, if we've moved from valuable thing, value represented in things in the physical world to value represented in things in the digital world, what does that really mean for us? Well, because we have this ability to give everything away for free, essentially what happens is that the whole world entered into an unwittingly a gift economy where the thousands or millions or whatever the number is of bloggers every day are pumping content out into the blogosphere. They're doing all that for free, no expectation of return. Um, and every, every facet of sort of publishing, there are people out there essentially pumping out content in order to get your attention. Because essentially, the only thing that is scarce in a digital economy, in a connection economy, is people's attention. And obtaining attention is obtaining a kind of enduring wealth. A form of wealth that puts you in the preferred position to get anything that this new economy offers. And because essentially on the internet everything is free, its value is measured by the attention that it commands.